Hello and welcome to yet another installment of the Knights of the Old Republic playthrough. Uh, today we're going to be exploring the Undercity and the sewers, and that's a little bit more difficult of a job, so we've got to be on our toes. Now I looked up the quick save button, which I'll be making use of a lot. There it is right there. Um, now this button I hadn't been using before because I had no idea what it was, and I didn't want to quick load accidentally and then lose all my progress. Hurry, so Endar, now hurry. I know what it is. It's F3, it by the way. He'll never make and the quick load is doomed. F4. <sighs> he will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the Rackles are so near! You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. So I'm about to fight a Rakul, which is substantially more difficult than any Sith soldier I've faced so far. So we're gonna try hard inside stealth mode and try and get a crit uh, sneak attack on this bad boy right here, um, and I'll use rapid shot so I can have a higher probability of hitting more, and on Karth, we're gonna try hard with the power blast, see if we can't get a lucky hit there. Hopefully we save this guy too, because, um, if I do, then everything works out in the end. Now, I might use a med pack here, and you'll see Rackwolves give you, uh, uh, a chance of getting poison to you, so Karth is poisoned, and I don't have any antidotes. I don't think I have any antidotes. Nope, nope, so I'll just use a med pack, and... Looks like everything worked out for the great, for the good, the greater good. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Goodbye, Upworlder. All right, so first thing I want to do here is... Uh, go buy some antidotes so I can cure Karth's poison and stock up on um, more of them so that later hey on there, when I fight Wilder. those remaining Rackles in the place, I can easily cure. So buy all these. Clear out his stock. He doesn't really have that much good stuff. He plays an important part in his side quest down here that I'm not really planning to do. Um, and we're going to explore a little bit of the village. I'm trying to remember. There are a couple of characters down here. There's like a whole plot line revolving around the fact that these villagers are looking for a better place to live than where they're at now, and somebody believes they should go, and somebody doesn't, but really, you, you in the big the scheme of things, above. it's not that important. Is so I'm not going to do it. Time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely... Speak to me, up. What? Please. I wish. Oh, I said I'm not gonna do it, and I still don't plan to do it. But I did accidentally accept his quest. <clears throat> uh, Greetings, up. Who's this guy again? We rarely see your kind here in the. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? I... Yeah, he's nobody important. Okay. Let me take one last gander around. There's a part that I don't want to do yet because I'm still lower level. Uh, it's sort of an engagement that happens in the bottom of the city that I don't want to do yet. And I guess we'll head outside. Now, since it's only me and Karth, it's going to be dangerous. So I get a third party member. Still have you, Hindar. Oh yeah, I guess you get light side points if you talk to that girl. Great. Um... Now I'm looking around for somebody who should show up any moment now. Please, there you she have is. To help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. 
You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time, only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds him of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. And welcome to the party mission, and look at that. We got a couple of level ups. So I'll do my character first skills. Once again, don't matter at all. No security for treat injury feats, and oh, would you look at that, two weapon fighting, level two is available. Let's get that. That should make me hit more often. And let's do mission. Uh, mission is a scoundrel just like I am, so I'm gonna pump dexterity into her. She does not need wisdom like I do later on. <clears throat> um, she'll be my skill character. Just hit recommended on that, should everything line up. Uh, there's an attribute called intelli intelligence that goes to skill, and um, she has more intelligence than I do. So we'll let her deal with the skills. I want to make sure she has the feet that I'm looking for. Yeah, sneak attack and uh, blaster rifle. I want to put a blaster rifle on her. Just because no one ever uses blaster rifles, and why not? She's kind of squishy to be put into the uh, main role. Uh, I guess I have an extra belt for Karth here. and We can give some energy shields to mission, and uh, everything yes. should be good to go. Uh, we'll save. Um... Oh, I could have quick saved there. I guess I forgot to do that. Have it, man. Have it. I really don't want to quick load accidentally. That would just ruin my day. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Security papers. Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Look out! It's an ambush! Wanted this to end up in an ambush result because otherwise I wouldn't get to fight them. That was kind of a suicide grenade. YOLO, but I have med packs for days, so not to worry. We'll loot these guys. I think one of them has, like, Rack Ghoul Serum on, on them. Maybe it's further down. I think it's further down. It's, it's this direction. Rack Ghoul Serum is a quest item. We talked to that hospital guy about it earlier. But it also helps you through a couple of other things in the Undercity. So we can head around and got to be aware of Rack Ghouls. And if we do see them... We can take them on one by one, hopefully. Alright. Oh, I guess I had uh, solo mode on. I always forget that stealth puts solo mode on and no one follows you when that happens. So let's get our teammates Ready. flying over to us. There we go. There we go. Bring down this what? gate. Uh -huh. Somehow sure. Karth ended up inside. That was, that was weird. That was really strange. Okay, well, whatever. <clears throat> no big deal. We can continue onward and progress and save again. And uh, I once again realized I could have just quick saved. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna unbind the quick, the uh, quick load button. Then there's no possible way I could uh, quick save or quick load accidentally. Where is it? I just saw it. Where is it? Where are you? Where? There we go. Quick save. I'm gonna just bind that to quick load. There we go. Now I can't possibly quick load and overwrite everything. Wonderful. Oh, yes. So nice. Good. Now, another thing to not worry about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Stealth mode. 
here so I can hopefully get a crit on this Rackul. Take him out instantly. I'm sort of targeting the back one. Gotta sneak a little bit over. Nope, not yet. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I hit. Oh, nope. No crit, and I missed almost everything. Whoa. Okay. This is gonna get a little hairy. Might need to run away. No. Okay. Well, now mission's gonna tank it. Hopefully, the luck is kind. But their rackles are going down. It's amazing what a difference three party members is uh, t against yes. two. And like, Karth and I had trouble taking down just one rackle <laughs> in that engagement. There's just a dragon right here. Easy peasy. Um, plus, mission hits fairly often with the blaster rifle. Eventually, I'll upgrade her blaster rifle to a bow caster, but that's going to be later on. Set this guy on. Boom. One shot by the team. Now, I can't remember if this is where you get the serum. No, it's not. It's still yet further down. Oh, I am getting prompted to speak yes, to Moody Karth. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people up. Well, it just won't happen again, that's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Me? You shouldn't. If you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. And yes, we do know that Karth has even more issues. That is not going to be a problem, hopefully. I will just keep badgering him until it's over. Oh, I think I can aggro these one at a time. Good. There's one going down, but it did peg part in the noggin. He's poison. Uh, and the end of the engagement will undo the poison on Karth. Beast of the antidote. And I think there's only one more left in this area. Take him down. You can get him with this. This, this has to be where the serum is, because I am all the way down. Oh, I'm stuck. Well, that's irritating. That's the second time that's happened so far. Um, how annoying. <clears throat> all I've got to do is quick save and load the quick save. Can't quick load, though, because I unbound that. It's okay. No regrets on that part. Now I can move. Great. Not too big of an issue. <clears throat> some journal or something I don't know has something to do with that alternate quest line that I mentioned uh, let's see what's in here med pack already looted those that's an entrance to the sewers not gonna do that yet there's still other things to do at this part of the undercity so we'll head across back this way oh you're a pilot for the Republic right you've been all over the galaxy I bet right so tell me how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, and it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Bixie's my friend, not my babysitter. 
Geez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. Well, we have learned that Mission is a little lacking in the insult department because all she can think of to call Karth is old. Great. That's real mature. Real, real great insult there. Hello all. A couple of mines over here. I think there is a Republic soldier in a crashed pod down here somewhere. But don't get your hopes up. It doesn't advance the story quite yet. I would recover these mines, but I still don't think I have enough demolitions to do that. Ah, yes, see? Republic soldier. What did I tell you? Help. Help me. Please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing. Like some kind of hideous disease. Thank you. Those things, they attacked as soon as we came out the doors. They... they killed the others. It, it was horrible. Bastila? She wasn't in this pod. We were tracking her pod just before we hit the planet's surface. It went down somewhere to the west. We lost the signal when our own pod crashed. Maybe... Wait. What was that? Did you hear that? I thought I heard something. Over there! I heard something, I know I did. There it is again. It's those monsters. They're coming back. Run for your lives! And since I picked up the Rackle Serum earlier, I was able to get light side points with that. So let's take out this horde of Rackle. Wow, mission is dead. Oh, she can stand up again. At least she is, if you die while you're poisoned, you won't be poisoned when you get up again. That would just be ridiculous if that was the case. Heal everyone up because I think that uh, there's more rat ghouls further down. Do a little savey wavy there. Yep, there they are. <clears throat> Okay, so there's three of them, and I can't engage them one at a time, so we're going to try this YOLO crit strategy that totally didn't work last time and see if it works here. Except in this case, I'm going to throw a grenade. <clears throat> we might use a concussion grenade. This should stun him, and then if you stun, uh, you get sneak attack automatically, and it will auto crit. Oh, yes, escape. Hit the stun. Ah, oh, sneak attack, auto crit. Ooh, shot. That is exactly how it's supposed to go. We should be able to mop up the remaining two. My character's almost dead. Antidote, please. Easy game. So easy. Uh, we'll use a regular med pack. Awesome. Now, I can I transit back? Ah, it's not worth it. Maybe I'll transit back later. <clears throat> Okay, next course of business. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to do. There might be more things to loot, and then I'm going to head into the sewers so I can find the young Zalbar and rescue him from the depths of the Gamorian pigs. Hmm. Actually, on second thought, I think I'm going to try to transit back because there might be a huge engagement as soon as I enter the door. Oh, yep, you can do it. This mechanic, I always forget about it, and it's so broken. I just wouldn't even need med packs if I knew you could do this. Maybe you can't do it from inside the sewers because it counts as a dungeon, and this part technically isn't a dungeon, it's still the outside area. Oh well, not too big of an issue. So I think this is the sewer that puts us closest to Zalbar. On the inside, there are a couple of entrances into this place, but this one is the least obtrusive one. Alright, open this door, and holy crap, there's a buttload of those things there. Can I even do this engagement? Well, you never know until you try, so let's just attack. 
Oh, they're glitching out one at a time. They're coming in. Come on, everyone hit. Oh, everyone's hitting a lot. Well. Call me surprised. That went really well. Uh, okay, I'm stuck again. Ugh. How irritating. <sighs> quick save, quick load. Or slow load. <sighs> now I can move. I really gotta find a way to fix that. That's, um... It's probably, like, really obvious. It's probably, like, V-Sync or something. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Next time it happens, I'll try and figure it out. We shall head this direction. Gamorian, let's mess with this guy. <laughs> Stealth mode, engage. We'll try and get another one of those nasty, nasty sneak attack crits off on this guy, because that was so satisfying. He's going to run past. Oh, he's leaving his back exposed. Oh, nice. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So Mission can actually do that, too. She has sneak attack. And in fact, she can get a higher level of sneak attack than I can. How insane. Uh, I don't think this is the room that leads to Zalbar, but there might be some loot in here. Outcast corpse. It's like a promised land journal or something. Yeah, I don't know. Don't care about that. I'll probably have that for the rest of the game and never use it. All right, what's in this door? Oh, lots of Gamorian elites. Okay, so this is where Zalbar is. Um, elites are a little bit harder to kill. And I think there's a chieftain in here as well. And that guy is a doozy. He just axed me. And my character is dead, but there's just a chief left. Mission's almost dead. Oh, leveled up. I think there's one more in there. Well, whatever. We'll deal with that in a second. Skills are nothing. This next level of sneak attack and mission. <coughs> Hard to say. I think I'm just going to do the second level of blaster rifle. I don't think dual blaster rifles count for dueling, so yeah, let's just do that. Boop. Awesome, full heal on mission, but my character needs to be healed as well. One one more, there we go. Uh, advanced med pack. Obviously heals for more than regular med pack, but they are more rare. Looks like there's one more Gamorian elite here. Take him down. Perfect. Okay, now let us, uh, I think I'm stuck again, ugh. Uh, Please, game, please. It's a lame game. Oh, I could have quick saved there. Whatever, it's not really that big of a difference in this case. <sighs> okay. There we go. Now we can get to Zalbar. This is one of those old style manuals. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across it. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. <laughs> Here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. 
I just hope the Ranker monster isn't still there. There used to be a Ranker monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eat anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge! Luckily, Rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. And welcome to the party, Zalbar. I won't be using you right now, but you do make a decent tank for a little, a little, little bit at least. Jeez, can't talk. That door is, I guess, not broken as it seems. Uh, these aren't Gamorian elites. So, we can take it down. so yeah, Zalbar joins your party. Zalbar and Mission, they just sort of follow you, and Mission follows Zalbar, so it's really not that. I didn't think it was that convincing of a way to uh, have a, somebody follow you, but um, the next thing that I'm going to do is explore the uh, dungeon of the sewers a little bit more, yes. and hopefully not die to these rat ghouls. I think I uh, I'm good and I high enough level now that these guys won't take me down because as you level up, you gain points. Karth is decently tanky, at least. I have, I have some antidote stuff. I should be able to take out. There's really only just Rakuls and Gamorians, and Rakuls have the poison ability, and uh, Gamorians just generally have higher attack, although they have garbage defense, so they don't dodge anything, which is why I'm able to get that lovely sneak attack off. What? All right, anything in here? Probably more Promised Land Journal stuff. Oh, no, just loot stuff. There we go, making use of quick save. Uh, and we'll use. Oh! Can I, can I talk to you for a second? Are you ready to have a civil chat? Or is this gonna be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. Ugh, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm. I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through, but I shouldn't take it out on you. Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Karth. Well, that's no big deal. I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Karth. For an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. <laughs> and Mission loves her father figure, Karth. Well, I was just going to let them deal it out. Uh, and now there's a strong box here, and since Mission has higher security than Karth, we'll just use her to do it. Security is basically just lockpicking. It's the same exact thing. If you were playing Neverwinter Nights, there's a tool for that. So I think I got a... Oh, yes. Forgot to equip this before, but when Zalbar joins your party, he gives you a bowcaster. Because Wookiees have bowcasters, and it just so happens that Mission can wield it. Um, I'm going to give my main character the Sith Energy Shield, which is a slight upgrade over the normal Energy Shield. I won't be using that for a while, because all of the uh, characters down here just use uh, melee weapons. Like, the Rackles just use their claws, and the Gamorreans have axes, for whatever reason. Um, and yeah, and here's a Rackle. Uh, the, the sewer is sort of just made up of these interconnected copy-pasta, copy-pasted, um... I don't know, I, I think it's a turbine grade or something? I don't know, I don't really know. Uh, but I'm pretty much just seeking experience, because there is a couple of fights after you get into the Black Vulgar base that are really annoying. Anyway, Karth leveled up, skills don't matter, and I think I'll just do Improved Power Blast for him, because that has served me pretty well so far. Um, I could also do Improved Conditioning, but Power Blast is probably better right now. Cool. He got a full heal, but I think he was already full health. Okay, I am stuck once more. Maybe I can get out of this by attacking. Yes! Good. I don't have to quick load. Or slow load. 
Secondary Rackle here. And he's down. And I can move. False alarm. There's another another Rackle. I imagine developing this area was kind of tedious. Ugh, dang it. <laughs> I got stuck again. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm gonna fix this. This is gonna be fixed. I promise it will be fixed. Okay, uh, let's continue onwards. But like I was saying, developing this area would be really boring because, look, it's like there's nothing new about it. You just like walk down hallways and then there's turbines and grates and there's two enemy types, that's it. You, there's no even like interesting puzzle in the area. So, it, it is, and granted it is like the first actual dungeon that you do, but, not that exciting, I gotta be honest. Plus it's a sewer. The subject matter you're dealing with is really not that great. Wow, there's a, there's a lot of Gamorreans here. I'll just have my character tank it all. You're doing a pretty good job right now. <laughs> Somehow survived. We got a med pack available. Yep, that is me stuck once more. Uh-huh. I wonder why it's happening so much more frequently now. Um, you know what, let's turn off V-Sync, or on V-Sync, and see if that does anything. Oh, I guess I moved now. Maybe that will fix it. I don't really have high hopes, but perhaps that was the issue the entire time. Which is weird, because I'm running this in a window, and it's not full screen, so the V-Sync should be limited to the refresh rate of my monitor, which happens to be 60 hertz. <clears throat> so I wonder if, like, the game is just rendering it, like, way too fast, but only displaying it at 60 hertz. And the play gets stuck. Well, my character died really quickly, and mission is getting walloped right now. Let's see if I can do this without losing everyone. Karth. Come on, Karth. Nice. There were so many of them in there. Holy smokes. And there's even more. Wow. I wonder if this could be counted as another gateway encounter, or maybe you just have to... You should have found a different way to deal with them other than just barging through the door. That was the thing I hated about Dragon Age, though. Um, this is another Bioware game, but like the first Dragon Age, there's something just really off about their gateway encounters. Because they wouldn't just put them in places that you that looked like they were going to be difficult. They just upped the stats of, like, r random things in there. It would be like walking through this dungeon and then there'd just be like a level, you know, I'm level, sure. what, four or five right now? There'd just be like a level 18 Rackwool yeah. just sitting in the hallway and if you right. walked past it, it would murder you in two hits and then you'd be like, well, I guess I can't go this way now. So that's another game where you have to compulsively quick save. But the first time I played it, it was on Xbox 360. Don't recommend it, it's like really crappy on that console, but I didn't know, I was just a kid. Ah, uh, mission stuck in my way. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, like, the, uh... I, I thought that Dragon Age Origins was more of a... It, it just like wasn't as well game designed as uh, this game was, at least. This game is a little bit more new friendly than that one, which was just... Anything on difficult, hard difficulty in that game was just so impossible without thoroughly knowing literally every possible dungeon to a T. <sighs> Finally, I got my guy to level up, but it's only a skill level up because you only get feats and uh, other stuff on certain levels and tributes every like fourth level or something like that. But it does give you a full heal, which is pretty nice. Um, I don't actually think I need to be at this part of a dungeon yet. What? Uh, but where there's loot, there's uh, you know, the possibility, or the, even the possibility of loot. There's a place, that's a place I should be. Uh, this might actually lead out of the sewers. Yes, it does. So I'm going to turn right around and head back the other direction. Did I loot this already? Turns out I did, yes. Okay. Cool. Now, I never played uh, the second Dragon Age, but I played Inquisition. 
And I, my problem with Inquisition, I guess, was that that there was just like so much story in the game that they didn't tell you. You had to read through. Oh, I guess I didn't recover that and explode in my face. Um, there's so much story in Dragon Age Inquisition that you had to read through papers and things and collectibles, and there were a lot of quests which you can deal with. You just you have to have the right to mindset. Here to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black bulker who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. Thanks, mission. She won't do that until you freeze Albar, obviously, but uh, that is the way to the Volker base, and I still want to gather other things in this dungeon. I guess I already looted that. No biggie. Um, I, I was thinking about maybe doing a Let's Play of Inquisition as well, but I only own it for Xbox One, and I think that it the experience just might be better on PC, because if you have to read text, like a lot of text, it's probably better to do that on a PC screen than it is on a TV screen, so... That might be worth the investment. The uh, combat system in Inquisition seemed fine, it just... <laughs> my issue with it is that it was... It seemed to me like it was much harder to break that game than it is to break a game like this. And by break, I mean not getting stuck on the V-Sync error. Mostly like getting a character to a position where they're so powerful they can kill everything in the room. I love doing that to games. It's really cool. And just staying within the rules of the game to do that is super cool. Um, it's one of the reasons why I really like to watch speedruns of stuff because that's, that's all they do. Sometimes they break the game too much for my taste, but a lot of the time when you see how a game was programmed and uh, the thought process behind the game design and somebody just ripping it open and saying, wow, you didn't think of this? That's super cool. That helps you grow as a, a developer and it helps you understand sort of how uh, how developers think about their stuff and, and what they prioritize in their game versus what they should have been prioritizing. We use stealth mode here. <laughs> Typically, I, I don't like to use stealth mode because it's tedious and it puts you in that solo, solo stupid mode where none of your characters or your teammates follow you. Um, in Netsilla Republic 2, it's a little bit more useful because there's a bunch of sequences where you have to be solo. But in this game, it's not quite the same. Um, there's a good comparison. The first Zelda game on N64, or N64 Ocarina of Time... This game is more like that, whereas um, the second one, the Majora's Mask, is more. That's more like Knights of the Old Republic 2. Like, where Majora's Mask tried to be edgy and cool and strange and out there. Knights of the Old Republic 2 tried to do sort of a similar thing. Maybe it wasn't edgy and cool, but. Um, it tried to make your moral choices more ambiguous than this game does, where it's, like, obvious when you're going to get light side points in this game and when you're going to get dark side points. So that's what I appreciate a lot about Knights of the Republic 2, at least. But it, it, it does feel incomplete and weird. Uh -huh. what? Uh, party members getting stuck. Yeah, I've kind of not been focusing on the fighting here because, like I said, this dungeon is not that exciting. But I think it is almost up. Yeah. I'm going to head back towards that force field that I disabled earlier after going down this hallway which I had apparently unexplored good that might be the last thing I loot in here before I head down to the last bit developer tools for something like this would be pretty cool because you probably see from a top-down perspective isometric or something like that so it would look kind of like Diablo but there's no way they would release something like that. But it's totally something I would love to just study and see. Getting a little bit lost here, making sure I'm heading the right direction. Yeah, past this hallway and into the next one. There we go. There's the force field. And we're going to head down to the upper sewers of the Undercity. How confusing. 
So this next part... Oh, actually, no. More weird turbine... Horrible poo water that I don't really want to think about. More fighting. I guess it's kind of interesting that they have both... Like, they have different factions fighting each other. They have Gamorians fighting... Rat ghouls. A lot of games just forego that kind of immersion factor, and they just have both of them attack you on site. More stuff. I think I just forgot about this entire area of the dungeon. Um, I don't think this place is as large as the lower sewers is, but I don't really plan to spend too much time down here because it's already been a while, and I <laughs> I'm, this episode has turned out to be grossly long. Holy smokes. We're approaching the 50, 50 minute mark, which is actually really long for an episode like this, in my opinion. Considering, like, I think the first couple were 20, 30, 40 minutes. So I'm actually, I guess I'm on track <laughs> to just keep expanding the number of episodes to infinity length. We're going to head down this hallway. Man, it gets really dark in here. Let's see. There's 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 something on the ground called a severed arm. And you have to loot that to get something called an odor or an ichor or something. That's to get past the next part. But, oh, finally. Here we go. There is another enemy here. It's a sentry droid. And there's something I forgot to mention. Oh, I really don't want to walk through that gas mine. And I, this is where your party members derp around. So you have to be really careful. Yeah, like, they will run through that mine if you, uh, even if you're disabling it. Oh, there goes mission. Yeah. That happens all the time. It's a, a minor complaint about this game. You don't really have fine control over your allies, even though you can control them. If you tell them to attack somebody, there's that thing that I explained, I think, way back in the first episode, where if the game doesn't think you have line of sight, it will just move the character towards it. And if there's minefields, like there are on Tatooine, oh my gosh, there's this one part on Tatooine that killed me so many times because there's a massive minefield and you can't walk through it and all of your characters don't have line of sight of the enemy. It's just a complete disaster. So awful. But a major part of the game design. <laughs> okay, this looks correct. You descend down, there is the severed arm of which I spoke before. On it is a data pad. And if you, like, read the data pad, it says to do something with the odor on the side. Um, in that room is the Volker base, but it's guarded by this massive creature called Rancor. I'm going to head back this way to make sure I didn't leave anything in this dungeon. I think there's only... You can only go this other direction and kill something, and then maybe you can, you, you can go back. simple. There's a little corpse over here. Probably promised land stuff. Actually, no. Just more loot. Okay, we're gonna head back over towards that Rancor. This direction. Sweet. So inside the severed hand, it has these three vials of odor, and if you put there's like a rubbish pile over there. If you put a vial of odor inside the rubbish pile, along with a frag grenade, the, the rancor will go up and eat. Like, well, well for some reason, it, it's, it feels compelled to eat the frag grenade, and then it explodes on the inside, and bada bing, bada boom, you get past. You don't have to sneak like I'm doing right now, but for, for the um, immersion factor, let's be quiet, and let's sneak over here and quickly put in things. Or first quickly take things. And now, put it in. This is like the only time in the game where you switch to give item. So there you go. One frag grenade. And there's like odor. Maybe it's at the bottom. Synthesized odor. We only need one of those. And a cutscene shall commence. Rip ran. 
Rancor, and that gave me a lot of experience. <clears throat> and finally, with that event and me getting body blocked by my teammates, I'm uh, going to wrap up this episode, and the next one will tackle the Volker base, and maybe a little bit after that, who knows, maybe it will be even longer than this one has been. Um, there's like remains that you can kill here, I don't know if it actually drops anything. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? I'm just walking around right now. I don't want it to end, I want to keep playing. But uh, I guess I'll just stop the episode here. Um, and then in the next episode, we, we shall endeavor to fight inside the Volker base.